The last day of the blockade on Razorback officially began at 10 o'clock when driver delegates met and also conferred with police representatives. The full meeting began 15 minutes later and the news media was herded out of hearing range. But it took only about half an hour for the drivers to overwhelmingly decide they'd had enough and some were ready to go almost immediately. As they left, some expressed regret that they had not fully achieved their demands. Others were only too eager to get back home to their families. Though some said not enough had been gained, their leader, Ted Stevens, explained the decision this way. Now they know they've got the right to arbitration. We've got the lot. You know, this, the fight's over now, but uh, we'll start it again legally and we won't have to... Um, go through this again, it's been very trying on everybody, the government, the public, the industry, everybody, you know. It should never have had to come to this, but it's happened. Yesterday is gone, and tomorrow is looking pretty good. Well, what do you expect to happen now with your claims and your dispute? We hope to take them to arbitration, a lot of them, not just a few points, but the whole thing and clean the whole issue up, the whole industry. Do you think that you will now achieve that after all these years? I think so. Uh, we've tried to form here, or well, we're trying to form an association um, with the hope of having that association represented in court by Mr Frank and David Galbally. Um, they'll fight for us. You know, they'll, they'll do the fighting for us. We haven't got enough brains to uh, do our own fighting. All we know is... Uh, We'd had enough and, you know, we've been forced into this. We've had to do it. We've done it. Well, what are your personal feelings now that the blockade has ended? I'll be glad to get home. The slow exodus was beginning by midday, but it took some time to get some trucks started and to sort out the chaos, which began when a handful of truck drivers spread their rigs across the road last week. here on Razorback is clearing and by tomorrow there'll only be the oil on the road from the trucks and the debris of the campsite to mark the end of this long fight and that's what Ted Stevens sees it as just another fight in a long continuing battle but he does predict that the night of the original blockade April the 2nd will be remembered on its anniversary every year by truckies around Australia for many years to come this is Peter George reporting Kill me with taxes and gasoline prices My rig's worth about six years' pay My mate's been arrested for blocking the highway And it's my turn to block it today We cut up the road at the Razorback Mountain Beat up some cops who got tough we're just trying to make a living And seventeen dollars a ton ain't enough This whole great country relies on us truckies Without us not a damn thing can move But the road tax is taking most of our money What the hell are they trying to prove? We cut up the road at the Razorback Mountain Government's talking real tough But for all your misgivings We're just trying to make a living And seventeen dollars a ton ain't enough Started a blockade, it spread all the way down the hill. There's a big one in Queensland, 
and it's spreading like wildfire. We stay till they all sing our tune. We cut up the road at the Razorback Mountain. Government is talking real tough. But for all your misgivings, we're just trying to make a living and selling. 